Hey, it's Liz for Big Boys Neighborhood. Okay, we're on the red carpet for Valentine's Day, and there's a lot of people that have gone Hollywood and didn't stop and say hello, but then there's the nice people that did. Hi, George Lopez, how are you? You gotta get some really big stars to come over. Uh, yeah, you know. How do we do that? Well, we got Taylor right next to you. You want Taylor Lautner? <laughs> No, you want him? I'll help you out. You're going to help me recruit stars now? I know I'm from, uh, you know, Shark Boy, man. <laughs> we'll try to see if that fool can come over here. How are you, George? I'm good. How great. I mean, I can't imagine that I would be in this movie. It's crazy, Really, right? it's crazy. I'm so proud of you. Thank I mean, you. I, I just... My life has been... Very blessed. I'm, I'm truly blessed. And, and I mean, I worked with, with him when he was 12 in, in Shark Boy. Wow. So that's why if you want him, I can get him to come uh, over. I love it. I, well, first, let me ask you... Valentine's Day, if you could have any celebrity be your Valentine, much respect to your wife, but she gave you a pass for a day, who would George pick? I would go oh, I would go Selma Hayek. Selma Hayek? And then I'd have Jessica Biel going, when is he going to call me? <laughs> <laughs> what was, what's been your worst, worst or best Valentine? Well, I tried to replace my wife's ring when I first started doing the show because I thought I had money, and then I ended up knowing some dude downtown at the Jewelry Mart, and then he swapped diamonds on me and gave me like some flawed ring, and my wife's like, I hope you didn't pay a lot of money for this, and then when I went to go get the money back, the dude tried to pay me in beepers and oh, phone cards. Oh, wow. That's very memorable. <laughs> that yeah. Of course, bad. let me get a what's up, big boy. What's up, big boy? Tell, oh, tell us about your character in this film. I was reading your name, Alf 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 Alfonso. Alfonso, I'm, I'm Ashton Kutcher's best friend, if you can believe it. That's awesome. And a driver, a, fl a floral driver, fl florist. Well, I will see this movie just to come support you and everything that thank you do. Thank you very much. You guys are great. Liz, I love you. Doing love great. Love you, too. All right, thank, thank you. you. Hi, Joel. How are you? How are you? I am a huge fan. Let me first of all thank you. Now, you have a song on the actual soundtrack, which I just heard you wrote for your husband for Valentine's Day. I did. That's very romantic. <laughs> thank you. Now, I work for a hip hop station, so if Joel was ever going to collaborate with like a hip hop artist, do you have a favorite? Oh my gosh. That'd be a lot of fun. You know, believe it or not, the little rare tidbit is I was uh, in a little rap group when I was 14. <laughs> I was called Swiss Miss. Swiss Miss. I was sort of like the Fergie girl. I yell, yo, and I yodeled. Okay, I know that sounds really. Oh, I, I, I've seen you on YouTube. It's actually really good yodeling. And they like mix it in. It's really you were yodeling and rapping at the same time. Well, I didn't do the rapping, but there would be like a couple, yeah, where the DJ would like mix it in. We were not very good, but you know. I think you picked the right choice as far as career. <laughs> but if you were gonna collaborate and, and just pull in any rapper, you know, maybe do a Valentine's Day song, who would it be? I don't know how to pick. Snoop's always really cool because, well, he's just so cool. That'd be really fun. And just mainly because I'd want to be able to do a video with them because his visuals are always so cool. Joel, it's a pleasure to talk to you on the red carpet. Thank you. Hi. I ask you, what has been your best or worst uh, Valentine? Uh, my best was last year, and it was because it was with the right person, and I don't remember any other Valentine's Days. <laughs> you know, I've come to realize through doing press with this movie that I've had very boring Valentine's Days. I've never gotten a strange one, um, but my most disappointing Valentine's Day was in high school. A guy that I had just adored for two years finally asked me to be his Valentine, and I was heading out of town that day, so I couldn't do it. Mm. If you could have a celebrity Valentine, who would it be? I don't know that many celebrities, so I couldn't say. <laughs> I've been asking a lot of the guys what they think of Valentine's. Usually they say they hate it. What about you? Do you like it or do you think it's like too much expectation? I love it. I think the boys are missing the whole point. It's a fun day. It's meant to be fun. And I'm just kind of like, who who hurt you? You know? Um, but I think that it's meant to be a fun day where everyone just expresses their love. And I'm kind of a hippie at heart anyway. So I just, you know, I'm all about that to begin with. And what's your my favorite, favorite romantic movie, oh, Roman Holiday. Absolutely. I'm, uh, what am I doing? My that mother's coming in tomorrow, and we're going to uh, we're gonna have a nice Valentine's Day, uh, which is Sunday. Yeah, very exciting. Bradley, who's your, what has been, like, your best or worst Valentine's Day? You know what? I'm bad at that. I really don't know. I know. It's bad. If you could have a celebrity be your Valentine, who would it be? Like, a celebrity crush? Julia, Julia.